Toronto Blue Jays signed Brandon Belt to a one-year deal. So Brandon Belt last season, definitely a down season here for him. But Toronto obviously has a loaded lineup. It's a good hitter's ballpark. And then you need a lefty over there that could DH and play some first base. So I think it's a good move for the Toronto Blue Jays here. Like I said, they need that hitter. And Brandon Belt, we've seen it in his career where he could hit 20, 25 home runs. And we know San Francisco last season had a down year. Not a great hitter's park. And a change of scenery, I think, could help him. So last season, eight home runs. 23 RBIs, 25 runs scored, a stolen base, a 213 batting average, and a 326 on base here in 254 at bats. So last season was an injury plague season for Brandon Belt. Obviously, the numbers went down. And now this season, getting healthy and being on a team with a lot of hitters where he don't got to press too hard here. I think Brandon Belt could get back on track and be a decent hitter for this Toronto Blue Jay team. In terms of fantasy baseball, he's definitely a guy who would take a fly run in the later rounds in your upcoming drafts within the next couple months, 18th round or deeper. Because like I said, he's a guy that we've seen get hot throughout his career. Him have a couple big months and finish the season with 20, 25 home runs. is definitely still in the possibility. So I like the move for the Blue Jays. And they're just adding to this lineup and this pitching staff throughout the offseason. So Brandon Belt signs with the Toronto Blue Jays. And we'll see if he could get over his injuries from last season and have a nice year for the Blue Jays and possibly fantasy owners in the upcoming 2023 season.